Two games in three days, that is the tall order facing Team India, but they've had a lot of rest in this tournament previously as well. Still in need of a point for that semi-final qualification after the loss to England on Sunday. They will be playing here at Edgebaston once again on Tuesday. This time their opponents will be another team which is in semi-final contention. Bangladesh. It's a rivalry that's been simmering for some time, but uh, there are a lot of other factors to consider before we come to that interesting aspect of this matchup. England, of course, showing some weaknesses in India's armory. Their uh, spinners going for runs for once, and of course, those middle order issues. But the biggest news right now ahead of uh, this game is that Vijay Shankar has been ruled out for the remainder of this World Cup. That toe which Jaspreet Bumrah hit with his Yorker in Southampton, it's flared up, that issue that's, that's flared up again. And he'll be out for three weeks, thus he is flying back. Mayank Agarwal, a surprising choice, but uh, the team management wanted a top order batsman especially after KL Rahul is uh, a bit a bit under the cloud with his uh, back issue or a lower hip issue. We don't know. It's not been specified, but that's been the requirement for the team management. And he's been cleared by the ICC. He's flying in, not available for Tuesday's game, but he will be joining India's World Cup squad. With me, James Alter, who's uh, replaced Aditya Bhattacharya. James, India have issues with the middle order. And how surprising is the selection of Mayank Agarwal, who, mind you, has not yet played an ODI? Look, exactly. India have been set back by injuries and the fact that they've lost Mr. ICC, Shikhar Dhawan, their replacement, KL Rahul, is normally bats at number four in his limited opportunities. Now, even that he's uh, in in some doubt, I get the selection of Mayank Agarwal because, yes, uncapped, but you want someone who can bat as a replacement opener. Um, Pant, uh, Rishabh Pant was batted at number four on this ground on Sunday, got 32, did not look unconvincing and I frankly do not see him being used as an opening option. Ideally, in this situation with injuries, India probably want KL Rahul to slot back in at number four. He looks a far better batsman at that position than uh, Rishabh Pant. Um, and so they wanted um, a, an opening option. And Mayank Agarwal, his, his list A record opening is very good and that's why he's here. But as you said, he's not going to be able to make it for this match. Foreseeably, uh, the match um, a few days from now against Sri Lanka at Headingley, uh, Mayank Agarwal would make his debut and I wouldn't be surprised by that. One of, the, one of the key reasons for India's loss was their dependency on two batsmen. And I'm talking about the loss against England. Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli, you mentioned Shikhar Dhawan's unavailability now. That's one leg of the tripod that's been taken away from India. 55% runs. We, we mentioned this so many times. 55% runs between Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli and Shikhar Dhawan. But now with Dhawan gone, the onus falls on Rohit and Kohli. And they were trying to bat deep on Sunday. It did not work. A lot of spotlight and a lot of focus is on the Indian middle order, MS Dhoni, Kedar Jadav, Hardik Pandya. You just feel that there is so much for him to do. With Mayank Agarwal perhaps coming in, there's, there's, there's this school of thought that KL Rahul, if it might go back at number four, these are your options. You have Dinesh Karthik, Rishabh Pant, KL Rahul to, to, to fiddle around really. But the fact of the matter is, there is a lot of dependency on two batsmen and that paints a target on India's back. And look, as good as uh, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma, Sharma are, ranked number one and two in ODIs, you're not going to win a World Cup with just these two batsmen firing. You've seen Virat Kohli is what? He's got four, four fifties, five fifties. There's no hundred yet because you see the fact that he's trying to bat. To me, it seems and um, to to shield that middle order. And you know, it's. Maybe we shouldn't be saying this, but there's going to come a day when the middle order will fall apart. We've seen Kedar Jadav get 150, a very vital 50 against Afghanistan, ate up some balls, but it was a crucial 50. We've seen Dhoni get two, two innings of note. Again, his strike rate seems to be criticized by everyone whenever he bats. What happens on the day that Dhoni does not get that dour 40 or 50? What happens the day that Kedar Jadav does not get that dour 50? And Hardik Pandya, like you said, how much pressure is he going to absorb? There will come a day when he's not able to... to um, to score what happens you're into the bowling and on this track you know it's a huge track Bangladesh know exactly what they're going to do they have a good spinning attack there's Shakib, there's Mehdi Hassan they may even play another third spinning option what if Bangladesh get to 275 280 and India struggle in the chase the World Cup is wide open and you know you, you talk about the fact that the middle order could fall apart my question is what happens you talk about 550s from Virat Kohli, you talk about Rohit Sharma who has 300s in this World Cup and a half century to go along with it. 
law of averages catching up with those two what happens when rohit sharma and virat kohli don't fire what happens to that middle order then as you said yes the world cup semi final spots up for grabs yes the, the, there is a problem in that indian batting lineup england actually showed a problem in the indian bowling lineup the wrist spinners when was the last time you saw them fail like that 160 runs in 20 overs england smacked them out of the park as you mentioned the same pitch at edge baston for this game on tuesday the same short boundary bangladesh will be targeting and they can play well, spin well bangladesh will be targeting those two spinners once again do you foresee a change maybe one of kuldeep or chahal making way for jadeja because it also perhaps bolsters the lower order absolutely um look jahel just just is is just coming off his most expensive outing in india jersey most expensive outing by an india bowler in a world cup so yes if you have to pinpoint one bowler to make way it would be jahel um but again you know what message does that send to you know your your front line spinner the man who's who with kuldeep yadav in tandem has really bowled india to a lot of success in odis and t20s that said Jadeja is proving impossible to keep out. He plays as a sub fielder, takes catches, affects runouts, and yes, I agree. Mean, Forcibly on this track, I can see him bowling his ten overs for forty nine fifty runs, which is golden. He gets a wicket, that's extra. But Jadeja, the fielder, he can win matches based on his fielding. Absolutely. His batting would also strengthen that brittle lower middle order. But again, who do you? who do you drop i saw mushfiqur uh, rahim um in in uh, after bangladesh's practice about 15 20 minutes he took throw downs from uh, one of the, one of the one of the coaches he was lobbing up he was making room for 15 minutes to drive inside out that's the game plan clearly the bangladesh team knows the threat that Bang- the india spinners pose but if one of those main front line spinners is dropped and someone like jadeja comes in they could be targeting him as the weak link and and that's that's the thing about this bangladesh side isn't it because a game against india it's it's just not an ordinary game you talk about rivalries you talk about australia england you talk about india australia as a great rivalry in in any international arena you talk about india england which is becoming a great rivalry you talk about india pakistan which is a rivalry for the ages how much hype was there around that game at manchester and it didn't and that game did not live up to that hype but i tell you what there is not enough hype about an india bangladesh contest and in the recent past an india bangladesh contest has actually given us value for money and this is what this is what bangladesh take it as they take it as a game of pride they want you know it's a game of one upmanship with india they want to beat india and india do not want to lose to bangladesh like you said you know mushfiqur rahim he's one of their better batsmen there's also shakibul hasan that's a huge factor all of them will be up for it how much of a factor do you see it as bangladesh still in contention it's been a few days that they haven't played mm-hmm. every team gets that allotted rest they will be coming off some rest india off a defeat how much of this rivalry issue is going to you know how much of this is going to be in heated atmosphere we we are expecting a full house here uh, you know in blue and green you know it's going to be an electric atmosphere once again perhaps just like manchester Look, I think the fact that Bangladesh are even in contention for the semi-finals speaks of the caliber of cricket, you know, that they play. The 2015 World Cup when they got to the quarter-finals, they have played a different brand of cricket since then. It's if Bangladesh win, it's not going to be an upset. We've seen them we've seen them beat uh, South Africa. They they should have beaten New Zealand. They're here, they're they're punching hard. They have to win their next two matches. Again, on this slow track, if their spinners have have a good day, India's batsmen do not. This could be a very, very crucial uh, win for Bangladesh, and then they move to Pakistan uh, at Lords again, a knockout match, and you know it's. anything is possible i really feel that bangladesh have the confidence we saw much of mortaza in his pre match press conference speak of 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 the belief in this team and the fact that they're here i think the extra extra impetus to beat india electric atmosphere expected on tuesday at h past in bangladesh as james told you need two wins to make it to the semi finals india as we told you at the top of 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 this of this clip they need a single point to make it to the semi finals licking their wounds after that loss to england they will be looking to hit back hard against the bengal tigers